Jason from Legit Tech Tutorials and welcome to tutorial number five for beginning C and uh, this tutorial is going to be loops and so uh, we're going to go over uh, some loops and how to um, do some checking check to see if something's higher than something else or see if something's equal to something else and then uh, next tutorial we're going to go over um, we are going to go over the different types of operations equal to um, or and stuff like that. So I'm just going to flip to that page in this book here just to make sure I don't miss anything. But the main things are if, else, while, and for. So let's go into those really quick. So uh, if loop looks like this. So it's basically we're going to say if integer 1 is you know and then you add the greater than or equal to sign and that's another operation similar to the plus the minus the divide the multiply where is that one at somewhere up here. there it is the multiply is similar to that it's an operation so we're gonna say if integer is greater than one then we're gonna say um, uh, integer 2. So now these two are going to compare each other and then you put a block similar to this here. These are blocks and so you put if and inside the quotations the parameters, these are parameters, you put integer 1 and integer 2. Now let's go ahead and cut this guy. So we're going to cut that guy and we're going to put it here at the end and then we're going to say uh, print f and we're going to say integer 1 is larger than integer 2 and then we're going to do forward slash n to get a new line and I'm going to build solution oh I, for, I keep forgetting to do the colon okay Okay, then we're going to start without debugging. So the first integer, we're going to intentionally make one bigger than the other. So let's say 12, and the other integer is 3. And it says integer 1 is larger than integer 2, which is correct. So now let's go ahead and give it a second try. And let's make it not. So integer is 3, and integer, uh, first integer is 3, second integer is 8. And it does not say that one is larger than the other. So let's say, okay, well, why doesn't it say it? So we want it to say it. So if it fails this, how do we see that it fails? There's another portion of the if statement called the else statement. And you put brackets around that guy. So if this passes, then it does this, and it skips this guy down to the return. Now, if it doesn't pass this guy, then it will go into this else. So it could be anything else. As long as it's not this, it will jump into the else. Now uh, we'll go ahead and in here we'll put the print f line, and then we say um, integer two is larger than integer one. So let's go ahead and try that again. So we're gonna do what? We're gonna do like let's do. Th 3 and 8. So it says integer 2, which is there, is larger than integer 1, which is true. Okay, so that works and that went just fine. So that uh, is how it is. Now, let's say if this, pa uh, this failed and this failed or something, uh, well, this can't fail, but there's another uh, statement that you could put called an else if and then put also inside there and then we'll say else if integer um, uh, integer 1 is equal equal to integer 2 so now this this will only go here into the else if if this fails and this is true, which will work. So we're going to build this. 
and then we're gonna make them equal so we're gonna say four and four but I didn't I didn't change this print here we're gonna say integer two is equal to okay I'm gonna build a solution again we're gonna run it now we're going to make them equal, 3, 3, Andrew, oh, uh, I put, I put uh, less than or equal to, so this you get rid of the equal to, okay, now we got it up here, it's 3, 3, integer 2 is equal to integer 1. Okay, so that's good. All right, now we're going to go into um, for loops. Now, for loops are similar to if loops, but they're basically loop. I don't really call this guy the loop. This guy is more of a comparison, or it just does a comparison action, and that's it. It only goes into to there once. So now let's say that in this case we want it. We wanted it to. Um, we want to do a for loop. Now a for loop goes through multiple times. So we're going to say for, and now for takes three parameters. First thing it takes is an integer i. So integer i is the counter. That's so i is short for index, which we'll go over quite a quite a lot later in arrays. Um, and then we're going to do this is the if part. So what is the comparison? that we want to do. So we're going to say integer 2, integer 1 uh, is less than, um, well integer 1 is less than, we're going to say, oh is greater than or equal to, we're going to say i. And then we're going to close this and we're going to tell it what it's going to do. Now, after each time it goes through the loop, we want it to do something. Now, there's a thing called an infinite loop which gives you a problem. So, for example, if we did this and we went in there and we say uh, print and then we say um, infinite loop and then we build this. Oh, sorry, I need to end at zero. I need to initialize it. Okay. So this stuff doesn't matter. See, so now it keeps going because it is always true. Uh, integer one is always going to be higher than in, uh, integer one is always going to be higher than, in, uh, than integer i because uh, there's nothing else going on in there. Now, if we made i now if we did this guy this is the this is the operation i guess that you want to do at the end of the loop let me see what it says the actual word is for that uh, let me see if they even got a for loop in here i don't know if they even got a for loop in here whatever they don't have a for loop in here i don't think okay um so this is just the operation. So this is called an increment, increment i at the end here. So basically what you're not seeing is i plus equals um, 1. That's what you're not seeing. But it's there because it says it here. So that's what it, it makes. The for loops are really clean. So now when we start, it only does it four times. See, because these this loop is got a, a comparison that will do this. So, so this is something that you want to do it uh, a couple times for for something, and uh, then after it jumps out, there's not really an else. You know, there, there's not really an else for that. You control that with an if else loop or uh, if else uh, comparison. So this is basically what it would look like right here. This is as far as you go. 
So yeah, so usually it, this usually involves arrays, but uh, we're not going to get into that till later. So finally is a while loop, and a while loop is basically a for loop, but usually without this, you can still have it in there, and without this. So, but that obviously does not work for a for loop. So let's just change this to a while loop. Now usually we have something called a sentinel loop, which basically has some operation that keeps it from continuing on forever. This is why you use a while loop, but most of the time you could use get away with just a for loop. But I usually like while loops because I like the less lines and I like declaring stuff before. But we're gonna say um, we're gonna say char go is equal to yes. And when we're going to say, well, char equals equals. This should work. Yes. Oops. Go. Well, go equals equals y. Now we're going to say, um, we're going to say print f. Got to put a colon after this guy again. Okay, and then we're gonna say in loop, in loop. And then we're gonna go to the next line here, and we're gonna say um, scan f underscore s char at oh comma at at sign and. Uh, sign and we're gonna space that out a little bit and we're gonna call it go now when we jump into that loop we're gonna say enter in So we're going to say enter in end to stop. OK, so now when we jump into it, it should. I had never actually compared a char. Wait, we entered in a loop, then we enter in a char. OK, so th this is a bug that I'm going to explain later. But just enter this guy in twice. So, so now we're in the loop, and it says enter in end to stop, and we're going to say yes. Uh, we we'll say yes, press any key to continue. How about, how about we enter in a, a uh, integer? So we'll enter in integer. Int well go equals one. So now we don't need that guy anymore. So we're gonna say enter in two to stop. Okay, so we're going to say enter in 2 to stop, but we're going to enter in 1 again. It says enter in 2 to stop. So no matter how many times we press in 1, it will keep going. So that's that's the point of the while, the while loop. Now watch if we hit 2. It, it, go, it jumps out of the loop. So that's what's called a sentinel loop, where it's waiting for a specific point to jump out. And that is usually why, why you have a while loop is usually when there's a condition to jump out that usually requires some input because in this point <clears throat> you don't need it to increment an i right because we're entering in the number we're controlling the loop so if you want the computer to control the loop then you use 4 if you want 
your user to control the loop, you use a while. And then if you want to compare two things once and not keep going forever, then use an if loop. And then also if we do want to do that, we could embed if loops inside different things. And then inside the if loop, we could put a um, we could put a for loop inside there. This is called nesting, but we'll go over that later. So there, there's basically infinite amount of ways you could do it. I mean, you could do pretty much anything you want programming. You know, everything is possible. But we are going to get to that later. Um, so the next tutorial, we're going to be talking about exactly what kind of power could you do inside of these guys to do comparisons and what those comparisons look like and, and the, the type of control you have. All right, so this has been Steven from Legit Tech Tutorials. And I'm sorry if I was maybe speaking a little too fast uh, for you. I, I, I need to slow it down a little more. So, so I'm, I'm going to definitely have it slowed down for um, split up the tutorials a little better and go into more depth. Right now it's looking pretty good, but we're definitely going to go through these, these, um, these different types of, uh, of how this, uh, this works here with the if, with the if loops. All right, so I'll see you uh, next tutorial. So please subscribe to the Legit Tech Tutorial, uh, Legit Tech Tutorials, for uh, more videos in this series and other series like it. And uh, if you um, like the video, please like. And if you have any questions, email me at legittechtutorials at gmail.com, and I will reply back to that. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.